So I'm just going to show some of the reporting in their inventory. So there's a report section here that a lot of people look at to see particular types of reports. So you'll see here we've got purchase reports, sale reports, inventory and financial. And it's worth checking these because each time Deer does an update, there's usually an updated reports as well. So we're up to about 40 or 50 reports in total now. So what I want to show is some of the things that you can do on, it, on any report. I'm not going to show you through every single one because it's fairly useless because there's so many of them. But I just want to show an example of um, where we can go into particular information and some of the things that we can change. So if I open up this particular report, so this is a sales by product report. Um, I'll just have a look and see what information we've got here. Okay, cool. So there's nearly always a date range and it will default to the last month. If you change the date range, you can update if you need to. If you click on apply filter, then you can add filters in here. So for example, I can pick a particular field and then I can say that it either begins with or contains or is or equals to and then put a value in so here for example if I look at my SKUs here so this is a product report of everything if I said I wanted just these products that start OD I might say apply filter and I'll say so the SKU um, contains OD for example, um, I wanted, sorry, it's really funny there. Contains OD, and then it will just show me those ones that have OD in them as an example. Now, what I can also do is here I've got more fields. So here you can look at any point. This is worth doing to see if there are any other fields that you can put on the report. So for example, let's say that I wanted any product tags. There may not be any here. I can just drag this down and place it in here. So let's say next to product, product tags. There aren't any actually here, but I've added the column. Um, I can also here, um, let's say I didn't want the sales rep. I can drag this up into here and then it will get rid of it. So this is just moving around. I can also drag the columns around here to change what's in what order as well. Additionally, I can click on the little column headers here to show or hide particular ones, but that obviously won't default, whereas the apply filter will. So what I've done there is I've put a filter on, moved columns around, added columns and taken them away. Now up here, you've also got data headers. So here, for example, if I drag this down into here, then you'll see now that I can, I have that as well. Um, I can see down here that I've got the SKU. So here I've got the year, so it's showing 2015. I don't have anything from 2014 or anything back further. So maybe let's take that one off actually and I'll show you month because that's got an appropriate one on. So now we're looking at, we've got May, June and total as an example. So you can start to make these really complex if you want to. I'll take this back off for the moment. Now, last thing to note is here the layout. So you can save a new layout if you want to. So here, what I could do is, so this is saving the default layout, but I could go new layout and go OD products, save. That then puts all the default fields back on and I can make any changes that I want to. So you might have, I want to look at Dan sales. I want to look at Gary sales. I want to see sales for last month. Any and all of that information, that's also something that we can help with if required.